Charged iOS, and this is a list of my favorite Android apps, also known as APKs, that are running on my Ouya. Okay, the first one on the list is going to be Dropbox because it's the most important of all. And once you have the Dropbox APK added to your Ouya, it'll be a lot easier for you to just go ahead and load those APK files right onto your device from Dropbox instead of going to your browser or anything like that. It's a lot easier. So once you get that APK installed the old way, you'll have your Dropbox right next to your browser like this. And just go into your Dropbox and it's just simple as that. Your, your APKs will be listed right there. You just choose them one by one, the same way as you do in the browser. Alright, so we'll move on to the next one. Dropbox is just kind of the one to get you guys started so you can easily follow along. Alright, so NaviX is the next APK. And what you do with NaviX is you can download and stream movies and TV shows from the internet, from several different websites, also some live channels and other stuff like that, sports events, a bunch of different stuff. It's uh, spread over a lot of different consoles, Apple TV, you'll see the icon around. It's uh, a bunch of different uh, devices have access to NaviX using XBMC, which we'll get into in just a few minutes. Uh, you can easily switch by using your that button that you sync the UI remote with you can toggle from downloading and now you see downloading is turned on now I can download the files rather than stream them straight to my USB thumb drive that's, thumb drive that's inserted into the device it's a lot easier just to stream so you just go ahead and toggle back and forth like that alright so that was Navi X Next up is Aptoid. Aptoid is like a free app store. You just kind of like download stuff the same way you do with any other app store. It's just free. You see over here at the top right it says install. I'll go ahead and click that and just give you a little demonstration of how it works. It says download started. And since some stuff doesn't work, you'll see that failed message. You'll get that pretty often, but there is a bunch of different stuff in here and some stuff does work. So if you want to give it a shot, it's called Aptoid. So all you have to do is search for, search, do a Google search for Aptoid.apk, download, and just go ahead and download that APK and sync it right over to your Dropbox, and then go ahead and upload it the same way. All right, that was Aptoid. If you want to get a few apps for free, just you know check out Aptoid. Go to your Google search and just do a little quick search for Aptoid.apk and just download that APK and add it on over and check it out. Alright, now we'll check out YouTube for Google TV. Now, I'm not able to sign in to this and use my uh, account. But I'll show you guys what happens. I just hit right here when I hit add account, it just kinda, there was a problem authenticating. It doesn't really give me a chance to fill out anything and it crashes after. But if you just go through and watch videos, also what's more handy than using this as a as an actual uh, scanner, you know, a browser of YouTube, what I do is I watch my videos and stuff like that from Google Chrome, and then when you launch a video from YouTube in Google Chrome, it'll give you the option if you want to launch that video using the YouTube player that you have installed, which is a very good option. So that's usually what I do. It's pretty useful. It's called YouTube for Google TV. So if you want to do a Google search, all you have to search for is YouTube for Google TV APK download and just get it downloaded the same way as all the others. Alright, so that was YouTube for Google TV. Now this is Google Chrome. A lot of people know about Google Chrome, I'm sure, but not a lot of people know that you can get that on your Ouya. And uh, the Google Play Store doesn't work through the Google through uh, Google Chrome either so the web version uh, you know I thought maybe it would work but it doesn't so it's no big deal there's Google Chrome is an awesome browser and it works great on here and uh, I'll show you about a little bit of how it looks 
just gives you a little give you a little quick glance at how it is. It's it's neat looking how they have the different. It's a lot of very much like the uh, desktop browser. I'll go ahead and show you how one looks when it closes. So you see how it does. It's pretty cool looking. So go ahead and check out GoogleChrome.apk. Make sure that you get version 18 and below, 18 dot whatever and below, because you don't want that 20. That new one won't work on the Ouya. Just a heads up. Okay, so that was Google Chrome, and the next one is going to be Facebook and your other social media plugins like Twitter or they all work. Uh, I've been using Facebook Home a little bit, experimenting with it. It does work, but it's tough to use because you have to, you don't have the touch option, obviously, on the Ouya. But uh, it's it's manageable. So I mean, if you want to check out Google, I mean uh, Facebook Home, go ahead and download that APK. But uh, you can definitely download the Facebook APK, the the normal uh, application, like for the phones and tablets and whatnot. So check it out. I'll show you mine real quick. It works pretty smooth as you can see. So I'll go ahead and back out of there. Everybody knows what the Facebook app does. Social media apps, they work on the Ouya. Just download Facebook.apk or Twitter.apk and you're good to go. Alright, next up is a very useful app called uTorrent. I know a lot of people are familiar with this from XBMC. This is a torrent downloading program. All you have to do is go right here to search, type whatever torrent you want to download, and simple as that. Say if you want to download GTA, and you can choose your browser like that. You can see I have three installed. I just use the normal browser for downloading most of the time. And you can see right there, it's giving you the piratebay.sc. Look, I'll go ahead and go straight to that one that's probably going to be one of the best ones to see I'll scroll down right here get this torrent all right now you see what this is is your this is I have it set to go straight to my USB thumb drive but if you don't have a USB thumb drive it'll just go straight to the internal memory of the Ouya which isn't much so I really recommend you expand on that memory using that USB drive it's real useful. So after that, you can just hit add. I'm gonna just cancel at this point, and you just go on through the process. Well, I'll go ahead and go through it real quick and show you, and then I'll cancel after. You can see how the download begin in just a few seconds. There you go. It's starting already. Just wait for a couple of percent. So you see that it's there. We go. All right. So I'll go ahead and stop this. Like that, you just click and then you go to remove. Simple as that. Alright, so that's called uTorrent. So all you have to do to find uTorrent and download torrent files to your thumb drive on your Ouya or to the internal memory if you so choose is just go to Google search and type uTorrent.apk, download it and add it onto your Dropbox, and then go right to your Dropbox and sync it on over and that's pretty much it alright next up is a bunch of really cool games I'll say GTA I'll just go ahead and launch that one and show you but I say you know depending on what type of games you like you can play Call of Duty you can play a few different types of games on here you just have to download all the files and get them all you know in the right places without using the disk So. Took me a little while to get this one to work. This is the 10 year anniversary edition of Grand Theft Auto 3. I'm not going to stay in here long, I'm just going to hurry up and start it, show you that it works. Now, I know this is a pretty old game, but to say that I downloaded this all free and did this and had it working in like, I ain't going to lie, it took about two days. <laughs> My hands are all that stuff, so you better drop, brother. Alright, now, I'll just show you real quick, and the buttons are the same if you've ever played. I'm sure a lot of people have played Grand Theft Auto. 
the buttons are the same as they are for, as they are on the Xbox 360 or any other pretty much any other console. Uh, I'm going to back out of this, and I haven't quite yet learned how to save the game to the USB thumb drive, but I'm working on that as well. So just stay tuned to my videos, and we'll see how it's done soon. All right, and now for the best of all, XBMC. If you guys want to add XBMC to your Ouya, check out one of my other videos or any other device. I have videos showing you how to add XBMC to pretty much every device that can use XBMC. So check them out if you have any trouble also with XBMC. I have several other how-tos and tutorial videos for XBMC on my channel. So check it out. All right, so like I was saying, XBMC. Is the best way to get movies and TV shows free. Giddy Up Network is just one of the many ways you can just go into there and start up movies. You just go live TV shows and they're running 24 7. Every TV show you see listed right here, every one of these are constantly running as soon as you start it up. I'll try Big Bang Theory just to show you. It's just something that's useful to have so you don't have to go and find nothing to download. Go ahead and stop that. I'm just showing you that it starts up. Family Guy. Just trying to go some popular stuff right quick. Show you that this works. And how good it works on Ooyah. Yeah, think this is going to work? Oh, yeah. Those Ewoks had all the five minutes to get things prepared. I'm sure it's all going to work out fine. Works wonderful on Ooyah. I haven't found the device yet that works as well with the XBMC as the Ouya. Alright, so if you wanted to use NaviX within XBMC that's possible or you can use the XBMC on your Ouya using downloading the APK files I showed you earlier in this video. It's just up to you pretty much. But it's pretty much the same stuff either way. I find that it works much better on XBMC so just keep that in mind if you are planning on using NaviX, XBMC is probably the best way to go. And if you get tired of looking at the same old, you know, boring OUYA load up screen, all you have to do is install this APK, fake iPad 3 theme launcher dot APK. Go ahead and search for that, and this is what happens when you launch it. Check that out. Turn my OUYA into an iPad. So you can individually enable these things to do whatever you want them to do when you click on them. You know, the uh, different apps, the native uh, iPhone apps, you can make them launch different things, settings, or launch my advanced settings. You have to double tap. You can't just highlight it and click once. You have to use the mouse pad. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty configurable. You know, it's, it's not that hard to use. You just uh, use the Ouya Sync button to bring up more settings. You can change your background and things like that. So I just wanted to show you guys a different launcher. And if you if you want to switch back, just double hit the remote connect button. Go down to the Ouya Launcher, select that and just once, and you can go back to the original launcher. All right, so tell me what you think in the comment section below. What's your favorite Android app to run on the Ouya? Are you having any trouble with any of these APKs? Let me know. Tell me what you think of the video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.